Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground is brought to you by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund. I can bead anything if they come to me with an idea about what they're looking for or a specific color pattern or whatever. I'll just work with that and maybe suggest something if they're looking for something more um, traditional, like they want to use their clan. Like this person's clan is the bear clan, so I put the bear claws on here and just added some of his, his family colors. Um, red is sort of a sacred color, so I just kind of like add stuff just to make it, make it more sparkly. So when he comes, he doesn't know that I'm putting these on there the rhinestones, and those are fairly new. They didn't really use that kind of um, thing a long time ago. No one thought to do it. And then once once they see, maybe a few people seen it on one person's outfit, they went ahead and said, oh, let me, let me find some of those. Where'd you get those? And a lot of things are shared too between families. Um, when, my, when I learned, I didn't actually do it just pick it up one day and start. I actually learned by watching my grandma do it. And then after she went away, I, she handed all of her stuff down to me. And then I just, I just looked at some of the stuff that she'd done and went for it. You just can't be scared, can't be scared to try. And then eventually you get really good and then people start wanting to buy it. <laughs> I wanted to follow in what my grandma had left me. I thought it was important that I carried on what she did because she was, she just was awesome at it. She did it for pleasure, she did it because it made her happy to see other people have some of her stuff. You could, she could walk around town or go to a powwow and see a, a purse that she'd made. Someone proudly going, look at my purse or you know, that sort of thing. So it, it was important to me to keep that going because now I, I, I've taught my daughter and I'll be teaching my youngest when she gets older too. Nowadays it's more contemporary. People will, will ask for things that they just more or less like. I really like purple. I want whatever the design is, can you make sure I have a purple background? Or my, my daughter really likes butterflies, so I've made, made that in keeping with some of the Ojibwe styles by um, adding Ojibwe floral, but a contemporary butterfly with a lot of different colors, a lot of rhinestones, really kind of, not outrageous, but further out than what you would expect on an Ojibwe styled outfit. It's pretty open. I mean, some people would prefer it being left alone, but that's more reserved for the dance. And, you know, if they, there's a little bit of controversy about um, staying old school. Well, old style jingle is very, um, not, I don't want to say plain, but very reserved, very just done a certain way. And new style contemporary jingle dress dancers, they're really out there with their outfits and more, bigger, better, more, you know, colorful, extra um, applique dresses, you know, that sort of thing. People just prefer one or the other, or but it's really fun to watch. <laughs> and that's where I come in because I'll make all the beadwork that they ask for. My daughter's contemporary, so she does have the whole thing. Leggings, moccasins, um, long peyote stitch ropes, big fluffy plumes, um, hair accessories, the whole, the whole thing. And she likes it. This is one of her leggings. And it, when it comes around, it, it wraps around, so that's what you see in the back is her back of her leg. And then in the front, and like I said, this is pretty well worn. She, she's still pretty young, so she still puts a good beating on her, beating on her outfits. And then that's, that's pretty much the gist of it in the, how it looks in the front. And then of course, when you put that on top of there, it matches up, it matches up the, on the, the bottoms. This one here actually is because my husband is of the Eagle Clan and he has a real strong personality and he, it fits him well, it fits him. And the colors are just more or less because that's, that's what I see in him. And that's, that's with a lot of my work. If I see somebody who to me looks 
real soft. Then I'll add a lot of soft colors in there. I'll, I'll add a lot of um, pretty things in there. And this is actually my grandmother's work. Real flat, real, real soft, I guess. And she took a lot of time on that and that's the only thing I have left really of, of her beadwork besides another one outfit. Um, when I'm working on outfits, if, I, if I'm working on it for a long period of time, I'll have two outfits going and that's kind of where this comes in where it's partially made because I'll switch from this one to a different one if I, if I start getting tired of looking at it. <laughs> um, this goes to the outfit that my grandmother made, so it's been in my family for a while and it's pretty well worn and it'll stay in my family. So by the time it gets down to my daughter, I'll have adjusted it and added to it like I did here. Um, these are my grandmother's, well, this is what my grandmother did and I went ahead and added the background to it and added more, more color to it so that it sticks out and she, she was so awesome at a lot of the stuff that she did so when she did these she was able to add the, the fringe on there and the leather so when by the time it gets down to my daughter I'll have added the background and maybe made her some new leggings to go with it and the, she did a lot of this a lot of this stuff that's on um, material. I'm not that good yet. Like all the stuff that you see the material under, she did these, this is all her work. And it was really, I was so touched when I got this outfit because it was pretty much one of the very last things that she worked on. So for me to have it and to have my daughter wear it is just, it's just something else altogether. It, um, it's like my grandma's with me and her, so when she puts this on, she's dancing with my grandmother and my grandma's watching. Mm, that makes me happy, it makes me very happy. And that, that goes with a lot of people. A lot of things get passed down, so where they go out there and they're dancing and their stuff looks really old or well-worn, it's because it's probably been passed down from grandmother to grandmother to daughter and they take a lot of pride in wearing that as well they should. Staying in tune with what my grandma was doing, she meant, she was my, pretty much my mother my whole life. And out of respect for her and her memory, I really wanted to keep doing that, just to honor her, and that was my way of keeping her with me. I, it makes me feel good to see my stuff, my beadwork out there and dancing and having fun and being worn and being loved, because there's a, not a lot of pride that goes into my work. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland Public Television's Common Ground, consider making a contribution at lptv.org. If you have segment ideas pertaining to North Central Minnesota, contact us at legacy at lptv.org. Ground is funded by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund by the vote of the people on November 4, 2008.